Hello, this video is brought to you by Animal. This is the JoJo's Listeria Hysteria sketch. We are inside the turtle. Oh, don't worry about that reference. This is our purple pseudo protagonist holding a pipe, which will represent a gram positive rock. As you can see, they aren't going outside because it's too cold. Listeria grows in a cold environment and is facultative intracellular. The tumbling hills outside indicate that it has extracellular tumbling motility. He and his team are looking for an invisible baby. This invisible baby has a full head of hair, which sits above the meninges and it can indicate neonatal meningitis. It can cause granulomatosis infantiseptum, which shows non caseating granulomas on microscopy. It has a vertical transmission during pregnancy or delivery with an increased risk of premature birth and spontaneous abortion. It presents with respiratory distress and skin lesion. It can cause disseminated abscesses. You have to diagnose it with a culture and CSF sampling which will show pleocytosis. The treatment would be IV ampicillin and gentamicin for both the pregnant woman and the newborn. In this abstract art, it looks like a piece of cheese is attacking a pregnant woman. Wow, JoJo's did a really odd show. Pregnant women are susceptible to listeria and should avoid soft cheeses to avoid listeria. As you can see, our crew isn't completely irresponsible. They put knee pads on the kids, so they must be called kidney pads. Oh, oddly enough, it also looks like a kidney. Listeria infections is an important cause of sepsis and meningitis in renal transplant patients. As an attempt to lure the baby, the team has set out his favorite snacks, dinosaur nuggets and milk. Listeria can be found in milk, cold deli meats, and cheese, especially unpasteurized milk. Even our catalase positive lemur cat from the avatar sketch is trying to help look for the baby. As you can see, one of our characters is tired from performing with his band last night. He will be our symbol for an immunocompromised patient which is susceptible to a listeria infection. As a drastic measure, the team has decided to use a heat-seeking rocket with laser sensors projecting the beta hemolytic symbol to locate the baby. Listeria can move within eukaryotic cells by explosive polymerization of actin filaments, also known as comet tails or actin rockets. Listeria has bacterial proteins which attaches to a protein on the intestinal cell membrane, the coherence, and allows the bacteria to invade the cells through a zipper mechanism. These adhesion molecules are also to be found in two other unusual tough barriers in the human body, the blood-brain barrier and the fetal placental barrier, and this may explain the apparent affinity that Listeria has for causing meningitis and affecting babies in utero. Once inside the cell, Listeria rapidly acidifies the lumen of the vacuole form around it during the cell entry to activate Listeria lysin O, a cholesterol-dependent cytolysin capable of disrupting the vacuolar membrane. This frees the pathogen and gives it access to the cytosol of the cell, where it continues its pathogenesis. Mobility in the intracellular space is provided by actin assembly inducing protein, which allows the bacteria to use the host cell's actin polymerization machinery to polymerize the cytoskeleton to give it a boost to the bacterial cells so it can move in the cell. The same mechanism also allows the bacteria to travel from cell to cell. This amp that our character uses symbolizes ampicillin. For some reason, he stacked the pills that help him perform in a staircase-like pattern. These will represent steroids. To treat listeria, uh, induced meningitis, you usually give ampicillin. Listeria usually causes meningitis in neonates and the elderly. Treatment for meningitis is usually vancomycin, a cephalosporin, usually ceftriaxone, and steroids to reduce the inflammation. Any baby that's less than 28 days old and has a fever greater than 100.4 should be treated with ampicillin and gentamicin to cover group B strep, E. coli, and listeria. All right, thank you for watching. Please watch my other sketches on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below.